You can also use spot colors to identify certain things for specialized equipment. We have a Roland Versicam SP300i in our classroom, and so this is just a specific example for this machine. If you're a student at Salt Lake Community College taking this course, you're welcome to come to campus and use this machine. Um, you pay course fees to take this course, and if you wanted to come and print something for one of your projects, you're welcome to make an appointment to do that. Spot colors are also used to communicate specific information to specific devices. So as I said, we run a Roland Versicam SP300i in our lab. Um, it is located in, at the South City campus in room 1-173 at the time of the recording of this video. It is a printer and a plotter, meaning that it will print uh, colors. You can see that on the example here. And being a plotter, it will also cut a project. But it won't cut completely through the paper. It will do something that's called kiss cutting. And so there is usually a sticker material and a backer, and the machine will cut through the sticker material, but it won't go all the way through the backer. We don't have that capability with this specific machine. It's able to print and plot. In addition, the, so our machine has cyan, magenta, yellow, and black cartridges. If you upgrade your machine, you can also have four additional cartridges for a total of eight, and it can include things like opaque white or a coating or metallic colors. If you choose to use these options, if you choose to have a opaque white ink cartridge, you can't just choose paper color in InDesign because paper to InDesign means no printing. I leave it empty and then that represents the paper color I'm printing with. But in this machine, if you load the Roland uh, VersaWorks swatch library, you'll see that there is RDG Roland uh, white. And so if I choose this spot color and I use this spot color in my design, even though it's kind of an ugly gray color, anywhere that I use that spot color, the machine will just automatically know that I pick up white ink and I apply white ink. The same applies to the gloss color or to the metallic silver color. We don't have those attachments, but we do have the ability to cut, and so we use this pink cut contour color. I have to load it, I have to use this specific swatch, I have to use it from the Roland VersaWorks library, I have to choose it as a spot color, and I have to make sure I output my file so that it doesn't convert my colors from spot colors to be processed. And then if I meet all of those requirements and I load that file into the Roland VersaWorks software to print from, it will know everywhere I've used a one point or thinner pink stroke that's labeled cut contour that I don't want it to print pink, I want it to cut that shape. So I have a few notes here. First, that these spot colors are provided by the company that makes the machine. And so if you buy specialized equipment like this, you'll be supplied with software to print from and these swatch libraries to load. And then two, you need to use fills if you want to print an area. So just like the varnishes that we talked about in the previous slide, um, if you want to print gold in the shape of a heart, you need to use a fill color. If you use an outline or a stroke, it's only going to print the heart in the outline or the stroke pattern. However, when you want to cut something, you must use a stroke. For the Roland VersaWorks software, it wants you to use one-point strokes.